All right, the equation to the ideal body in your mind come in, comes in four facets. One is your training in the gym, your weight lifting. Two is your cardio, your, your aerobic conditioning. Three is your supplements, your diet, what you're taking in for nutrition. And four is your rest, how much sleep you're getting, how much time off in between workouts. All four of them carry the same weight, 25 each way, to make up that final end state ideal figure you want. You, you can't just lift and don't do cardio. You can't lift and lift and lift without the rest. You need to feed the body after you tear it apart. So let's talk about nutrition, for example. Um, supplements. Everyone's like, what supplements do I use? What do I use here? Well, I'm a firm believer that the greatest supplement you can ever use is your own natural intensity. You go in there, you mind over matter it, and you get in there and you get focused and you get pissed. You get underneath that weight and you throw it up. Um, a lot of times, using supplements, people have a mental edge. They're like, okay, I just took these pills or this liquid or this powder or something. I have this element inside of me, so I should be stronger. I mean, they take the pill for the first time an hour before they go to the gym. It doesn't even take effect if you read the directions till the next day. But because they think they have it in them, they can lift the weight and they're getting a better workout. Because mentally, they think they're stronger. So supplements help you get that mental edge, but honestly, I found all supplements, and I've tried almost everything you can get off the, the counter, that your body becomes immune to them very quickly. One thing, though, you must have is protein. That is the building block for all strength gains. And the common formula is if you weigh 185 pounds, you need 185 grams of protein a day, so one pound per every gram um, a day. That's to maintain, I think. I think you should well exceed that. I weigh 190 pounds. I'll get anywhere from 250 to 300 grams a day. Now, how do I get that? You can't get that all from natural foods, from chicken and fish and white meats and milk. Um, you need to take protein shakes. So I take a protein shake in the morning. I take one before I go to bed, and I load up each shake. So it's a good 100 grams each way. And then I get anywhere from 50 to 100 grams of natural protein during the day through chicken breast or tuna fish any kind of high protein low carb low fat meal carbs low carbs now those good carbs and bad carbs the easiest way to describe it is if you put some carbs on a plate and you pour water on it like bread and the bread expands that's a bad carb you put like nuts on a plate and you pour water on it and the nuts don't expand that's a good carb um, Fat, greasy foods, get rid of them. They're not going to do anything good for you. They're good fats, um, like, like the fats found in salmon, for example. Uh, you can do your own research, find out what you like and what not, but drinking water, tons of water every day is crucial. It's all your body needs. Why throw in all that sugar and soda and everything else? You don't need it. 90% of the workout is just showing up. Just like in life, 90% of anything you do, the difference rest and just showing up. The hardest part about training and working out is going from point A to point B, that transformation. But once you're at B, it's very easy to maintain that with the proper nutrition. Also, the love of, of how you look is going to keep you motivated. And if you put it on a balance scale of life, where you have that Snickers bar, that candy bar, you know, that temporary satisfaction on how good that's going to taste, you know, and then on the other side is the, the detriment it's going to do to your body and your physique. You know, so all of a sudden that candy bar loses a little bit of its luster. You know, even though it tastes good and it's going to satisfy this temporary satisfaction that you're craving, on the flip end of it, you know what it's going to do to your body. You know how hard you worked your body to get yourself in the shape you're in. Do you want to give that up for the taste of a candy bar? No, I don't think so. As soon as you start feeling that difference where you start losing the desire to eat something not good for you because of the... The back end effects it's going to have on your body, now you know you're making good results in the gym because they're valuable to you now. You don't want to give them up. Steroids I've never used. Uh, in the military, we had drug tests every other week. Um, so even if I wanted to, I couldn't. But there's more to it than just that. I think if you're using steroids, you're cheating your system. Um, going from A to B in a physical stature, um, there's more than just the physical attributes to that growth. There's a lot of mental conditioning and mental confidence that comes with that transformation. And I think if you use steroids or something like that, you skip over that part. You don't really get the full benefit. And honestly, 
mental confidence in anybody, no matter what endeavor you're doing in life, is the greatest attribute anyone can personally have.